Here's your word for the day from Calvary in Lake Havasu. Visit us on the web at calvaryaz.com. Hi, Calvary, Amber here. And today we're looking at Matthew 18, starting in verse 15. It says, if your brother sins against you, go and tell him his fault between you and him alone. If he listens to you, you have gained your brother. But if he does not listen, take one or two others along with you that every charge may be established by the evidence of two or three witnesses. If he refuses to listen to them, tell it to the church. And if he refuses to listen even to the church, let him be to you as a Gentile and a tax collector. Truly I say to you, whatever you bind on earth shall be bound in heaven, and whatever you loose on earth shall be loosed in heaven. Again I say to you, if two of you agree on earth about anything they ask, it will be done for them by my Father in heaven. For where two or three are gathered in my name, there I am among them. So you see, Jesus is challenging um, our way of resolving conflict. See, most of us, when we have conflict with another person, don't follow these steps that Jesus listed out here. Most of us like to talk about the other person that we have a problem with. We like to gossip, talk about them, and instead of going to them directly and resolving the conflict so that we can have peace and unity in the body of Christ. See, Jesus knew that we were sinners. And when you put two sinners together, there's going to be conflict sometimes. And so he gives us a biblical way of resolving conflict so that we can be united as the body of Christ and we can have peace among ourselves, which should represent Christ to the world if we can follow Jesus' plan for conflict resolution. See, a lot of times we want to skip these steps and go straight to the last one where you treat someone like the scum of the earth because they made you mad, which that's what a tax collector would be to the people Jesus was talking to. But we need to surrender our ways to God and follow his process in everything in life, including conflict. See, if we do it our way where we don't follow God's plan for conflict and we either gossip about the person or we like think they're nothing to be like have a relationship with then we are not representing Christ to the world and we are hurting our relationship with God and so if we want to have a healthy relationship with God a healthy relationship with other people, then we need to surrender and say, representing Christ and following his character is more important than being right or winning an argument. His way is more important. And so we have to decide, are we going to surrender what we feel, what we want to do to what God has said in his word? And then you have the other, the the last part, and people ask questions about this all the time. Like, what does it mean that whatever you bind on earth shall be bound in heaven? And if you look back in Matthew 16, where Jesus first says this to Peter, you can take those two and, and see that Jesus is delegating his authority to church leaders to exact uh, church discipline in his body. That's what that means. And then verse 20, so many people take this out of context for they say, for where two or three are gathered in my name, there I am among you. See, this whole section is talking about unity of believers and having peace. And so when the body of Christ, when Christians are choosing to live in peace and unity with each other to represent Christ, he is there. But more importantly, it's talking about his omnipresence, which means that Jesus is everywhere at one time, which that points to Jesus being God. And so if Jesus is God and has all power and authority and is everywhere, then let us surrender and submit our life to following his way so that our life will be blessed. Have a great day.